Okay, hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Luigi, and today we'll be starting um, very first playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy for PlayStation 5. Alright, so let's see. So, this is the very first screen that you'll see when starting the game. It was, so, we get a letter from Professor Weasley, Ron's, uh, Ronald's um, ancestor, perhaps. Uh, I guess this game is set uh, about 100 years plus from the original Harry Potter novel. So, um, and basically, the characters you'll meet are very new. Um, some may be familiar, um, like the first person that I saw, or I, as I recall from the previews that I've watched, is Phineas, which is the current headmaster of Hogwarts right now. So, um, or oh, Hogwarts in this game. Um, so, let's see. Let's start on this one. So, yeah, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth-year student. Term begins on September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Head Mistress. Wait, so, <laughs> okay, so I thought it was like a guy, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a headmistress, so yeah, definitely a woman. All right, so, start creating our character right anything else yeah, yep character customization this game looks amazing looks great looks very detailed let's go with like uh, this m like a very small f face I guess um, yeah let's see uh, where were the glasses? So we're taking some sort of hairstyle. Yeah, the reason why we're not creating a guy, cause yep, yeah. very boring if I actually just like take it onto. Like how it how it looks like to be me, so yeah. Best not do that. <laughs> I am not that good looking. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Hair color, hair color. Brown. Closer to the black. Brown, white, black. I like the blackness of the hair. Uh, like a little brown, perhaps. All right, come on, let's let's go with this. Um, a little reddish, brownish, reddish. Yeah, let's go. I want brown. And like, this is, this is the character is like looking, like looking at you, looking far away. I don't know. Um, all right, so. Facial scars, complexion. Mm, well, hello. What complexion should I give you? Honestly, I don't think exactly. No, like with the eye bags. Uh, without like this, so fair skin. All right, let's see. Like oh, with the eye bags. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see. Uh, yeah, well, there we go, there we go, there we go. So, I'm trying to start with this. Pearls and moles, okay. Yeah, like I want to be a dead eater in this game. Should I put you in like a little scar, like on the head? Uh, just like on the eyebrow, just want to make it look like, uh, make it look like that she's some sort of rebel. In like in her young uh, 
young age and stuff let's say okay I, I kind of like this car on the eyebrow all right so let's go eye color uh anything i'm gearing towards purple do they have purple do they have purple oh is this purple kind of like purple is there another shade let's see oh nope so i guess that's the only one let's go purple eyes because who doesn't have purple eyes come on it kind of makes it like hey there's a miasma just running out of my my uh my blood like like my magic is based off miasma and the eyebrows hmm. eyebrows good <laughs> unibrow <laughs> all right uh i like this she makes it look like she's always angry and it's, it's kind of the same as like my eyebrow only a little less hair all right so let's see voice too i'm eager to get to hogsmeade yes i am eager too so it quite something. yes it is quite something uh let's see and some dust. nothing to be concerned about i am indeed a student but i could very well be able to help you hello high and low it was wonderful i believe i'm really going to enjoy this class i like her voice on the low side uh makes it some sort of uh yeah it just kind of feels calm uh, a little bit calming a little bit high pitch i don't want her to be so much high pitch it's kind of irritating i guess that was quite something yeah it is kind of irritating let's go to that like the middle then I it was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Yes, we're okay. Dormitory because we're a witch. Set like your difficulty in normal because we're a scrub. Uh, let's put a knee. <laughs> Lynette, and then uh, like the only thing I remember is like long bottom. So <laughs> let's go with with this. <laughs> I just saw this in a meme. Lynette rock bottom. Like she would be going at the rock up your ass. Okay, so let's start. Let's begin this. I must say this game is so good. The, the how it looks like it's so good. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Oh, hello, Mr. Eliazar. We didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before time began. Like, hello. Oh. Who are you? <laughs> Eliazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations. He than appeared this. like facing <laughs> on the I back. I miscalculated slightly on my first try. Mm. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I best not speak here, Eliazar. Mm. Of course. Not here, Eliazar. People are watching. We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. No, oh, not at all. Not at all. Ages like, you want to go to my carriage? Like a stranger that I do not know goes into the carriage I'm going in for school? It's not. Not at all. And suspiciously looking at the horizon. Of course, of course not. I would love to have a company. Okay, so that carriage just flew without anything. So I'm guessing, and our like, those are like the hippographs, like the only that that you only see if you witness death. As per Lu what Luna Love Love uh, Luna mentioned before, 
in the Harry Potter novel, so yeah, Warner Brothers, Avalanche, Avalanche. Just gotta, like, not speak much when it comes to cutscene, just wanna absorb the story that they put out on these games. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is yes. indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being Indeed. admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> I think he wouldn't be my professor if he, he's not that good. Goblin Rebellion, Truth or Gobble Cock. Or Gobble Cock. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the ministry, oh. I believe he is oh. a significant threat. Wings. And it was your wife, a bit tattered, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came like a scroll. Her own, but with no correspondence. Or a case. I can only assume oh, that she had to get case. rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? Oh, so our glow. character can see things mm -hmm. that others cannot. Typical game fashion. Oh, it is glowing. Eh, it's a key. Oh, wait. We did. What the? F Ooh, shit! It's a fucking dragon. Hang on, indeed. George! Oh my God, George! So she just witnessed death, and there they go. The hippogriffs appear. Run, boy! That's a fucking dragon. <laughs> oh. just cast the spell without a wand. That is badass. Even the square looks good. This game, this game is so pretty. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. I think a bit is an understatement. Like you're one blow away from dying based on your health bar. I like how the haptic feedback on the controller just imitates um, heartbeat. So cool. Alright, drink up. Drink the green goo. What happened? Right. Uh, you get attacked by a dragon. That's it. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Yeah, it's not a typical dragon, Professor. Uh, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Yep. 
port key. Also the one, uh, the goblet of fire port key. Just remembering that one. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Port. Or why? I'm hearing it's like, I don't know if it's like port key or port key. Pretty sure it's not a pig. Alright, and into the lion. Wow. Wow. How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage This is so beautiful. Somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those rooms. Do you think the porky was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that porky to George for a reason. Didn't and I believe also. that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Professor, I have no choice. We're literally both stranded in the Scottish Isles. Yeah, question. the wife. Miriam's Though it's always the wife who's causing trouble. Ancient magic. Okay, fine. Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that Same question on the mic. Magic lost in time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Oh, there's the path down below. This way. All right, Professor. Okay, the path to Hogwarts. The path to Hogwarts sir, is very <laughs> difficult for it lately. <laughs> Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Yes, character. Power can be used for good and evil. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's Gee, see some of that who... one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Basic spell cast, Professor. R2 to perform a basic cast. Whoa, nice. Okay. So R2 is like my normal attack. Okay, use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select target and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeting and settings. I guess we'll find out in combat. See what happens. Whoa, slide it out. Let's see how that it was a goes. bit rougher than I'd expected. Okay. All right, so I think that yeah, let's try that pot. Okay. How about the other one? Pot, pot, pot. Okay. Thank you, sir. Like a basic spell. I wonder what it's called. Like basic shot spell, bang spell. What? Oh, professor. For an old man, he can do parkour. He can climb. We're close now. It's just ahead. <laughs> it's like. Okay, just stop flicking your wand and breaking every pot, you see. <laughs> and this is... Steady yourself. It reminds me of the cathedral in Elden Ring. <laughs> Repella! Sorry, I'm, I'm geeking out on some of the spots. Nice. Repair, we like repair the bridge or whatever. 
to rain. It's slinking up to. Like, the controller is vibrating because of the wind outside, I and mean, that's amazing also. It's like, I feel like they are there. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Oh, that wall first. And this statue is the second. Let's go first. The minimum shows you your surroundings with your arrow in the middle. This marker is your current objective. Press and hold. Toggle quest related. And the details aren't. Explore the ruins. Okay, let's go to the wall. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Okay, next one. Uh, what about this statue? It's a bot. <laughs> Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Who is this person then? Another bot. Another bot. <laughs> I like this fell flinging here. Uh, where to again? Oh, okay, so yeah. let's follow the map. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost there. Almost fell down. Almost, almost. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! It looks like. Is it like the Ministry of Magic? It looks like a mirror. Alright, let's go. Uh, I cannot go in. How odd! Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Interact with magic. What kind of magic? What in Merlin's name? Wait, the goblin. Heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Godric Gosshart. Godric Gryffindor? Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Hello, Hello, goblin. It's the banker. <laughs> and then the, the, the characters are from the books might not be the same on this game. But you just kind of remember that goblin from the movie. Uh, it, it might be a, like a, a younger version of him. Just a moment. <laughs> Mind telling us why you're here? <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. Yes. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This Ring way, then. Back. Stay close. Close I'll ever be, Professor. I'm just kind of like, I'm nerding out with. Like, do we get to see the bank? Like Green God's bank. Uh, keep your hands inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> uh, no seat belts? Great. Safety first, everyone. Whoa. Hundreds. In fact, you 
see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby, the vault you see now in the Middle East. Are private entrances to the bank common at Green Dots? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. I love the history lesson. Like, I am so into it. I'm not just like listening. And man, that's a deep cave. Vault number 12. Sir? Momentous day! Sounds? Because our character is very suspicious now. into the game and you're like deep on what this conspiracy is all about or like what this mystery is all yeah, about and yeah. I'm, I'm all here for it when was the last time this god was like this is so pretty in that time no one has visited vault 12 until today. Yes, because it's like every vault in Green Gods is a special commission ball. Good professor. What's inside what the wall? What do you suppose we should be looking for? Uh, I Sir, think the I wall is already. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. <laughs> professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. Must be something here. Mm, the middle. Revelia, perhaps. Revelia? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady your wand with held stick and guide it along the symbol to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol okay uh let's start uh right oh nice vivelio vivelio there i saw something move a bit closer and try again we already saw that earlier i don't need revelio <laughs> It was literally glowing. Alright, now what do we do with that? Another one? Ooh. Okay, well, that's what Revelio is for. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. 
lead the way. Revelio is the like genjutsu uh, discard. <laughs> Eliminate Lumos. this. Okay, light magic. This Flashlight no magic. Revolt. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Uh of course, Professor, because we're in a dark place and you're the one with the wand of light. Of course I'll stay close. I see something up ahead. What is it? Another glow. A glow again, but on the floor. It's got flowing with mana. Whoa. The glow suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. So, our character is very gifted. Lenet is very gifted. Uh, how there do... must be something to that reflection you're seeing. All right, Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. <laughs> Perhaps you should cast Lumos. It's following the light. <laughs> Lumos. Lumos. Ching. We have acquired wind lighting Lu charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see dark areas. Okay, flashlight. Triangle. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh dear. Trial by combat. Now that's a lot of combat. Just like timing the time, the defense. Protago, Protago. <laughs> My magic power spike. <laughs> Tree. All right. Nice one. Nice one. All right. Let's go. I'm close, Professor. Professor? Uh, Professor? Professor okay. Fig! Where are Professor, you? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where uh, you tell me. To go? You tell me, girl. What's happening? Okay, follow the lights. of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Waypoint. A treasure. Thirty-four gold. We're rich. All right. Oh, there's that mana overflow again. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Whoa. Okay. Lumos again. Lumos. I know. We have to do Revelio first. Rebellion. I 
suppose I'm on my own this time. Ah, uh, you are. But wait, before that. Okay. Prepare for yes. battle. Come on, guys. Like, okay. Uh, stand here. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, so the battle just start. Oh. Battle system is very uh, similar to Batman Arkham games oh, and also the Lord of the Rings um, Shadow War. Oh, it is Warner Brothers game, so they got the combat formula right, so that's why. Hold D during Protego to stun enemy with a stupefy counterattack. Okay. Stun enemy takes every damage indicated gold numbers are okay. so let's try that hold the tiger to stupefy counter okay okay come on guardian boy nice eat magic stupefy ha come on knights Stupid pie. Whoa. Protego. I love Protego. Uh, ah. Okay, I did not see that. <laughs> That's like so into it. Go on. I found that this addicting. I think I love it. I can get used to this. Okay, Dark Arts Arena, where are you? <laughs> I'll have to sprint. Wait. Alright, let's sprint. Oh, now there's like the big spiral thing. And then there's this mana flow. I will call this like a mana flow. It's a door. What's on the door? It's a different chamber. Really ominous here. Okay, so most likely we gotta go to the chalice thingy. It's a potion. Question, Prof. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Ah, Dumbledore um, let Harry view I it wonder. before. Your face on the fence, you. That's the seer from earlier on the house. So who are you, good sir? All is in place. The porky is well hidden. Perhaps too well. Wait, I wonder if Percival. The path we've created may be impossible to follow. It was a familiar from the cannot see books. traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, 
The witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. I wonder what magics, ancient magics, are they referring to? That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never... Could never wield. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looked rather different when it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> Hell no. Uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a Oh. Ouch. This end down. I have no patience for traitors. How he can... How, no. how can he be a traitor? Why he was just we? doing his job. I'm not giving you anything. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. You wanna fight? Then let us fight. Ouch. This goblin is a formidable wizard. Oh dear. An ancient guard. Ooh. Come on, guys, let's skedaddle. Hey, come on, don't be an idiot. Let's go. Where we started. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability. To end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. So we're already in Hogwarts. Very convenient. Because Percival really is, as I remember, was one of the portrait guys in the books. Oh, you train to Hogwarts. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> Oh, hello, castle. Hello, Hogwarts castle. It's lovely. Just beautiful. And 
that will be the first of the videos I'll be putting out. Uh, yeah, the, you know, this this is the, the playthrough is just um, something that I do on the side. Just wanted to do on the side. Um, just want to have some fun with it. Just want to share the fun that I'm having. And if you guys like, you know, like the games oh, I'm playing, just feel free to ceremony. add something to the chat. Comment down below. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, and yeah. Uh, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. And see you they in the next bit. What happened to George and be warned of Ranrock? For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? 